Hello and welcome to this brand new tutorial. In this tutorial, we're still continuing our Canva tutorial for photographers. And in this tutorial, we're going to see how to create a website for your business without having HTML, PHP, JavaScript, and other web development uh, programming languages. So what we do here is this a quick way to get you started and have something going on in your website or in your photography genre. So we do come to this search bar and search something very specific, like in this case, photography website. Once you hit photography website, just come and click enter or just search on those suggestions. Then look around to see what website you might like, what template you like. So I would just be very random, but still check something which is really good. The good thing is some of these templates are free like these ones, but the others which are pro, like the one with this crown is for pro users. So if you hover around, it's going to tell you that this Canva Pro subscribers can get this temper template for free. So if you're not a pro user, you cannot have access to this. So just looking around, let me just take an example of this. And once you come to this place, you can choose start, or you can just share or look around if there's anything else which which might be really interesting. So after you're done here, after after you click it, it's going to bring you to this place. You have option even to report, but you didn't come here to report anyone. This is a free work, so feel free to just skip if you don't like the work. Then the next thing is just come here to customize. That is, if you like this outline, just to show who you are, just click customize this template and it's going to bring you to a brand new tab whereby you can now customize it to your own need. So if you don't like this template, you can always just look around to see whether there is anything else you might like. And, and if you really don't like, you can also click other places or just undo and it's going to take you to other places so you, or just jump over to the others. So after maybe you feel like this is what you wanted, you can also feel free to check something like this, which is really good. But this is more of a blogger, personal website. So the next thing is just to customize. You can just double click and just change it, the wording. You're going to see how to change it and make it look more better. photography change anything that you don't like in this first of all is narrow down to something undo change this to a lower position it the good thing is you have rulers and guides which are going to help you. And to access all this, you come here to file and show rulers and guides. Your settings, show rulers and guides or shift R. The next thing is the color. I don't like this color. You can change this color to a color which is better. I feel like I love black so I can retain the black color. The next thing is the picture. This is not me, of course. To just delete the picture by clicking the picture and shift or right clicking and deleting or just click and just click this icon of deleting then come here to uploads and take your own pictures assuming like click any image of yourself or something which is like you if it's it has not been positioned well double click the image and drag it to a place where it will look better than just click anywhere else then from there this is not an interior photography portfolio but photography portfolio just just do it and customize it according to your plans so the next thing is about you just delete this image of course this is not you and change take it to some and choose an image which is like you you can resize the image so that it fits or you can also resize this template and just bring it there inside you can change any, any documents, any information here, you don't have to. 
delete these images which you feel like they're not good or maybe they're not your website but replace them with images which you have done like like you can just bring the such images and narrow them down make them look really neat if you feel like this is not good enough you can come here to element and shape and choose the frames that you might think it's good come here to frames if you can see them just click frames and immediately like they are going to pop up you can just choose any frame that you want like this and put it here now with these images now you can come here to upload where your images are and check them there you can just leave them the way they are just doing wedding for makeup photography or beauty photography events say this is events photography in this just retain some of the pictures this one doesn't look really good so we can just delete this come here to elements and such interior 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 home let's just see what's going to pop up you can just click any image and bring it here and if you feel like maybe it's not fitting well just come and choose an image and drag it bring this image to front or just first of all delete the image bring it here and as you can see it's better now just a random thing about the images photography you can just give um, the about the experience just edit everything about the experience freelance photography you can also maybe if you like this you can copy and maybe paste delete some of this or you can just ungroup it because I feel like it's grouped. Ungroup. Event. Event photography. You can just delete some of these. Just use the rulers and guides and they're going to guide you how to do that. Then the next get in touch, how you're going to get in touch. Just this is where you put your 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 address. Then your contact address for now. Then maybe your email address. Then assuming this is the end, you can add another page if you want to. You can always duplicate a page which you feel like you need to have it. How to customize it further? You can come here to elements and choose these rounded rectangles and you can bring it here then double paste it copy paste then just bring it very yes assuming that we need just needed these tabs this image you can just drop it and narrow it down just take it somewhere like that narrow this say this is a home page then this is about and this is contact
So assuming this is what I wanted the, the thing to look, we can change the color to something like, not really, that's looking bad. You can change the font to be white. To be white. You can change it to these colors, which is not really white, but white. Now you can change now the shape color to black. Uh, can change it to this color, actually. If you click the shape color, come here to this place, color picker, and choose it to this color. The same thing, you can always change them. And just choose this color. And as well, choose this color. And that's how you you get to make it look like a website. And you can see we are we are almost there. So what we need now is just to link the pages. As you can see, this is what we wanted to just say. If uh, it's a home page, that is just remain home. If it's about page, as you can see, this is page two. You can come here to link, and this is how you can you should do all, all of them. Come here to these three dots and come here to link and link it to just come down here down and link it to about then maybe you can just come here and paste this and say something like experience 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 you can come here to link as well and link and choose work then contact come here to click contact the three dots again url and then how to contact and as you can see now this is how the image how the website is looking as for now so what you do come here to click preview and it's going to give you a brief overview of how the website is looking. So the homepage still remains the homepage, doesn't matter. The next one is about. So if I click about, it's going to take me here. Then we have the experience. Experience about the future work. Then the next one is contact. It's going to take you to the contact. And as you can see, this is how the website is looking. If you feel like maybe these are in the desktop and this is in the mobile application, how in the mobile it will look. So the same thing just applies to be taking you to the various places. You can close here. The next one is if you like this one, get in touch, you can also link it to contact. Yes, and click done. Portfolio, you can also link it to experience to work done. Then the next thing is the home page. If it's a home page, let's see. Link it to home. Click done. Now the next thing is where to get yourself up to the top again so if you're here you can always add something like an arrow in element click arrow and then in arrow you can just see all just take just a random arrow or undo just take something like this arrow no, this is not it's moving so quickly so let me just choose something static choose something like this just an example you can change change anything that you want here narrow it down and then i can i can rotate it the way it is to so place like if i want to go back home i can just link that 
So if I come to such a place, click this arrow, go to link, go to link and click home. It's going to link that. So as you can see, if I come here and just position it here and click this link and as you can see we have attached home so if i come here and click preview and change this maybe to a desktop this is how it is, it is. so if i go to maybe about it's going to take me to this place so if i click this page it's going to take me back home and this is how you can get yourself to uh, design a website for you you can do that to all these pages by just copy pasting and seeing and bring them to various pages so that even when you're in contact if you click maybe an arrow like this or any arrow if i drop it here and rotate it to this page and click it somewhere like put it somewhere like this i can always link it to home page and as you can see the link has been added if i preview it say if i click contact and then i click this arrow it's going to take me up to that place so if you feel like this color is too much you can always come here to elements and search something like studio and see what equipment you can just bring in this place and say something like photography click enter can see photos and bring in something like this image You can change now this color. Now you can click the image and remove the background by clicking background remover. That is if you are a pro user, that is an idea of what you can do. And as you can see, this AI has done a really good job of of change of removing the background. So the next thing is just to resize it so that it doesn't interfere with any other work and just leave it at that you can rotate this image by flipping it vertical sorry by horizontal if this mask has been masked just highlight it and change the font color to something else Just an example of what you can do. And as you can see, this is how you can create a good website for yourself, for your business, without having to incur cost of looking for web designers. I'm hoping that you've learned something, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Until next time, bye-bye.